Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny's Used Cars. Today I'm showing this 2011 Anniversary Edition of the Honda Fit. It's got uh, 74,000 kilometers on it, which is only 46,000 miles. Before I get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on the website right now will not be the final price when you come on a lot. Also, if you're arriving to Okinawa soon or you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny's Used Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits to doing it that way. So with that, let's go and take a look around and we'll show the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos. It's going to answer a lot of your questions. Things like the JCI, the warranty, the financing. I cover all that and more. So please uh, uh, bear with me until the end. You'll have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. This Honda Fit is a five-passenger vehicle in the 500 series category, so those uh, mid-size category. Road tax per year is going to be 7,500 yen, which is about $55 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April May time frame. Okay, so uh, we'll take every for you the rest of the 2022 road tax season, which we, we're still in, and it's up to you in April or May to take care of the 2023. They do have two options to pay for it. First one being US dollars cash out rate, which could get you a larger discount, or you can take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want something down, reduce your overall monthly payments, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more. Up to you. Before we go inside, I was like showing the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit this way. If it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. More important feature benefit is it can give you a cross ventilation. Get that extremely hot air out. And always get yourself a good windshield visor. Okay, so let's jump on in. Get this baby started. All right. Uh, key fob on your person. You can just crank it over as, as if the key was in there. Okay. All right, let's go over here. Oops. Turn that radio off. Sorry, Troy. All right. 74,425 on the odometer. Uh, showed a couple of warning lights. That blue in there is your new temperature gauge. So it's gonna be blue when the engine's cool. When the engine warms up, it's gonna, it's gonna go away. And then it'll be red if it's overheating. Be on the lookout for that. That leaf I'll show you in a little bit. That's for uh, um, the economy mode, okay? Then off to the right here, um, up top, obviously your seatbelt one, make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. And then um, the one below there, that circular one, that is your emergency brake. It's not a low pressure tire gauge. I know it looks similar, but this one's a hand brake. So when you disengage, it goes away, engage, it comes right back on. All that is a very simple, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. Anything pops up on the dash while you're driving, please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action. Off to the left here, you do have your radio. This one does not have a rear camera. I'm going to turn this on because it's a little warm in here. Then you have your air conditioning controls, um, power outlet down here, cup holders, and a little tray here made for some coins or whatnot, your shifter, uh, the handbrake as I told you about, and another cup holder slash a little bit of storage in the back here. Uh, this is the cup holder for the middle passenger in the back. Above the glove box, you have this little compartment for some storage, little shelf here. I'm not sure if you're going to use that. And then uh, your glove box. Then a little bit of storage slash cup holder on each door panel. Okay. That is your passenger space over there. You got your red roof flare hanging out. Then this is the space I have on my side. I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. The seat is all the way back, all the way down. I'm comfortable right where I am. I've said it before. I don't know why they don't let this thing slide back a couple more inches. So they definitely have the space in the back for it. All right, let's go eye level. That's my eye level right there. Really can't see anything past the windshield wipers like on most vehicles. Okay. Let me come all the way back. Uh, I'd like to take this time to show you the auction sheet, showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind, non-accident vehicle from mainland. All these other dealers out here can't tell you that on all the cars. We can for every single one. All right, so this is graded number four from the auction. That is a weird looking four. And with a C and C on the exterior interior. So it's a really good clean car, good grade for this uh, year of vehicle. Okay, that's gonna be up here on the sun visor on the driver's side so you can see for yourself. Okay, show you a couple other things before we go to the back seat. Uh, on the right side here, you do have your mirror controls. You do have a cup holder on each side of the dash and that's that echo mode so if you want to take that off that uh, green leaf will go away okay and then this is uh this guy right here is to control the angle of your headlights so maybe it's a foggy morning you want to see the street a little better that's where you're going to do it from and then down here you do have your um hood release and then on the door panel you have your uh window controls and this will control all your door locks okay so then one last guy on um, underneath the dash here that's your etc reader that's your electronic toll collector this works like easy pass in the states if you're able to get the card for it for the expressway over here. And I think I mentioned that's a power outlet, okay? Let's turn this baby off. Let's go to the back. Oops, somebody put the seat down. Getting way ahead of me. Way ahead of what I want to show you, okay? Let's jump on in. 
Oh, so as I said before, I don't know why they, they don't make the seat slide back a couple inches because I'm a good three inches away from the back seat to my knees. Uh, then nothing as far as storage on either of the pass, uh, on the uh, seat backs, but you do have a cup holder on each uh, door panel. That'll be for your two uh, outside passengers, and then the middle passenger will have this one for a cup holder. Okay. Now, as you saw, the seat does go down. Let me see if I could just open this up. So there's a handle here. Okay, just push that down and it, it will go flat so pretty good space and then when you have it back up this will actually come up just by pulling on this and pushing that down so I don't know maybe you buy a, a mini fridge that you have to go uh, uh, vertical with it that's going to give you some extra space as well and then with this up you do have a couple uh, grocery bag hooks it's probably around three kilograms about six and a half pounds each and then to release it you just pull this up and let it drop okay and then there you go you got your 10th anniversary badge there but the Honda Fits are really really good cars they have great gas mileage and really good space back here again that's why I'm, I'm, I'm kind of upset that the uh, front seat doesn't slide back a little bit more okay but really nice space like I said with those uh, uh, seats down you have a tremendous uh, more amount of space let's go here to the front show the engine compartment they're gonna wrap this video up it's a pretty nice grill I'm not sure if that's the anniversary grill or if somebody changed it out with an aftermarket one all right, so there you have the good old 1.3 little uh, VTEC engine, nice and clean. So there you go, 2011 10th uh, anniversary Honda Fit. Uh, what did I say, 74? Yeah, 74,000 kilometers on it, which is about 46,000 miles. Military price goes down to 5,000 with an additional military discount. We'll get it down to uh, 4,800. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on a lot discounts, and you will get a lower price on this. But for now, the 4800 will include a two-year JCI, the one-year bumper-to-bumper full warranty. The remainder of the 2022 road tax uh, that's due uh, in April or May, that'll be on you for the 2023, unless you purchase this after that. And then um, the 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top is going to be the American insurance requirement, whether we're going liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties real quick, yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealer, see what they have, see the condition of the cars and their uh, mileage. But definitely stop by Johnny G's Cars. Let us show what we have, what our program's all about, and how it can assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. Stop by, we'll show you why, like we have many, many others. So don't forget, two ways to pay for it. U.S. dollars cash out rate. We're taking advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Either way, we're good to go. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.